Hey guys, Jason and Seth with True Christ Life here, catching up with John, uh, group missions trips, uh, doing some amazing things around the country, but you're in Moore County right now, and so right. tell us a little bit about yourself and about the organization. Okay, well, group mission trip started in 1977 uh, in Loveland, Colorado, when the Big Thompson River flooded. Uh, Tom uh, Schultz uh, had a magazine, and he put in a little blurb in the very bottom of it that said, you know, come help rebuild um, the Big Thompson River area, and over 200 people showed up. And that's what, wow. that's what grew uh, group mission trips, uh, where we're serving thousands, over 24,000 campers this year um, around the country. Okay. Uh, I'm the camp director, and um, I'm actually out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Uh, and so I just come in and help um, uh, organize everything, make sure everything is running smooth, and make sure we finish up all of our projects. Typically, how many, how many projects do you have in each county? Does it, does it vary? Or? Uh, it varies uh, depending on what the camp and the camp size. Uh, here, uh, we have over 46 different uh, projects that we're working on. We have 56 wow. different crews. And all gets done in one week? All gets done in one week. Wow. So what's the, what's the, the focus, the objective behind group mission? Group mission trips, our uh, whole motto, our mission statement is to help uh, youth leaders find a way to connect with, help their youth connect with Christ. Okay. Um, not only our youth that are here, but also to help uh, restore hope and joy to the community. Right. And how, and what, what do you all do in terms of organization that, uh, or within the organization at the sites? I mean, give me a rundown real quick about how you all bring Jesus through fixing things. Oh, basically our theme this year is reframe. So we're all concentrating on how do you reframe your life around Christ? You know, how does people see you? How do you see yourself? And how Christ sees you? And hopefully by the end of the week, through our morning programs, our, our devotionals at the site, uh, and through our evening programs, and then youth group devotions, um, when they walk out of here, uh, they see a, a different picture uh, in that picture frame of themselves and of Christ. And that, that pro the residents, are they there when all this happens most of the time? Yes, uh, we have residents that are there uh, on site. Um, those residents typically will um, partake into the, the devotions that the yeah. kids have, which usually takes about 30 minutes. And, and that's the great thing about it is you see uh, a resident when you go in that is sort of apprehensive about having someone come in their home. They've got six new teenagers uh, come in their home and you know teenagers tend to have a bad reputation anyway. Uh, and then they come in and suddenly by the end of the week, they're crying because they don't want to see them leave. Yeah. Uh, and it's just amazing the interaction that happens and that transformation you see over the week. Yes, yeah, so it, it excludes, you know, or it includes not only just you know, the, the youth and the youth mm -hmm. groups that you are, are impacting, but the people that are living in the homes and the, the projects that you do are impacted through through this, right. this mission. And, and the great thing doing. is we see the community starting to get involved. Uh, First Baptist Church of Pinehurst said, hey, we can't, you know, we didn't know about this, we didn't know what was going on, but we want to provide shaved ice one afternoon. And so they come up and set up and just gave shaved ice out to the campers yeah. as they came back on these 95 degree heat days. Yeah. And so it's really amazing to, I come in on the Friday before camp and you, and you come into a community that you don't see any hope or joy, uh, but when you leave, yeah. you just feel uh, the transformation that has happened inside the community as well. Right. So tell us a little bit about um, in terms of when, when, when people show up to help, mm -hmm. like what, um, you all supply food and all that stuff to all the people who are helping? Right, this actually starts two years ago. Okay. Uh, this is a two year process to get down to this one week. Uh, Mary Stoddard, um, she's been with group work camps for a long time. Uh, she's been a volunteer, I think she's done over 40 camps as a cafeteria host. She says, you know, I wanna bring something like this to my community. Uh, and so single-handedly, she raised $19,000. Uh, she come up with uh, over 100 different sites to work on um, to get us to this point. Uh, these campers uh, started signing up last year to come to, to Southern Pines. Um, and then once they get here, uh, we have to make sure the school's ready as we're staying here at, at Pinecrest High School. Okay. Uh, it's no longer a high school for this week. It's actually our home, our worship center. Yeah. Uh, and so we transformed the high school to, to bedrooms. The classrooms are bedrooms. The gym is our worship center. Um, 
we use the cafeteria we have to feed everybody and so it's a really undertaking it's a it's a, a long two-year process for one week but it's well worth it Wonderful, wonderful. So if people wanted more information about group mission trips, where could they go? Uh, groupmissiontrips.com. Right, uh, that's our website. Um, and it's got all the information about the camps we have next year across the country. We have over 37 locations inside the United States, and we have Life Tree uh, that goes uh, worldwide. So groupmissiontrips.com. All right. Well, John, thank you for taking the time out with us. Thank you all. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. God bless you guys. Bless you all. God bless you. Let the truth